Yo, this is Lady C in the place to be. I finally got a chance to try the Taco Bell wings. Oh my God, you guys. You see there is nothing left. I destroyed it. If you have not tried them, go get them. They were worth every bite. Excuse me, hubby got two boxes and we are going to destroy these. I think it said they're only out till the 12th, you guys. We tried to go to a few places and they were sold out. But these, who these Taco Bell wings is something now. Get them, get them while you can. Hey y'all, it's Lady C. And I'm in my extra bedroom, which I have not taken the decorations off of yet. <laughs> I loved it so much, so it's gonna stay like this for a little while. Um, but this is my extra bedroom. And I was going through the things, some containers that I had from last year. Um, they had the things that I used last year for Valentine's Day. Um, Valentine's Day, I think, was like the first time I started like decorating and doing things with Ray Dunn. So I wanted to kind of show you guys. I didn't have a lot. So I wanted to go through everything and see what I had. I had these little red doilies that I decorated with. Oh, I guess I had... Yeah, they had, I had little red doilies. I decorated my table. I had these beautiful pink napkins. I'm not going to take everything out of these boxes. And then I ordered these online. They were like pink and gold um, plates that I got from Amazon. Just little plastic, they're plastic plates, but they look so beautiful on the table. So I had a whole set of those. Um, let me see if there's anything else in there. Oh, here's my tablecloth that I used last year. This was a real tablecloth, you guys, like real material. I got this from Home Goods. Um, Matter of fact, I kept the container. This is the I got it from Home Goods, stitched hearts, water resistant tablecloth. Um, this cost me twelve ninety nine at Home Goods. So that was last year. Uh, we may be using this again. Um, let's see more of the doilies. Um, I had a little vase i love this that i use look at that i just loved how it looked you guys i picked this up i don't remember it might have been dollar tree i don't know if it was dollar tree or did i pay a lot for it i'm not sure it's plastic um and then i had i had the little decorative you know you can get these for any time of year but these are i don't know whether you guys can see bad lighting these are pink so I use those, and then I have these table, these heart table settings. Maybe a little over the top, but I loved them. I just loved them. Um, I don't even remember. I might have got these from Dollar Tree. I don't know where I got these from, but I loved them. So I use these. Um, that's about it. Let me see, you guys. And then I had bought these, I believe, from Dollar Tree. They look like little gift boxes. But they were, you know, they're like pinkish, reddish when you turn them. Um, and I had these on my tables. Here's a white one, iridescent. And I used that for Valentine's Day. Loved that last year. I don't know, what are these online? I don't know where I got these from, but I love them a lot. And then I had bought these um, pink stones to put in my vases. Because I had some clear vases and I have some pink candles that I use from Dollar Tree. Now I'm looking through these things you guys and I only have one piece of Ray Dunn. This tells you that's when I first started. I had one piece of Ray Dunn that I used but this is actually, let me bring it see if I can turn the light on. This is actually one of my favorite favorite pieces. It just says kisses on it and I had this on the table and I had like pink uh, Hershey Kisses, pink and silver Hershey Kisses all over it. And I had picked this up at Marshall's for $4.50 during clearance time. See that? So this is my favorite piece. I only paid $4.50 for this, you guys. <laughs> so I'm going to wrap these up because I think my daughter is coming over. 
If not, I would leave this stuff on the bed. <laughs> yeah, I'm just making sure that there's nothing else. I had some placemats, um, but did, I think I used these gold ones um, underneath of those gold and pink plates. And everything looks so good. So I don't know whether I'm going to change it up this year. I don't even know whether I'm really decorating like that. I just wanted to kind of go through everything. So this is Valentine's Day 2021. Um, we're going to revamp it and make it into Valentine's Day 2022. So um, we're going to use some of these items. So if you see them again, you'll know. But we're going to show you how you can do it on a budget and mix in some other items and not buy a lot more already done um, to kill my pocket. Guys, this is one of my other favorite pieces. Um, where did I pick this up at? Hmm. I don't know whether I ordered it. It was $9.99. $9.99? I don't know. But um, this is one of my favorite pieces. It says XOXO. It's hardwood and it's sequined pink and it's got white and glitters i love this um i will be putting this back out this year um just wanted to show you guys this is one of another one of my favorite pieces that i used last year so this will be used again going into 2022 valentine's day hey y'all it's lady c just wanted y'all to see ignore the socks y'all because you know we just chilling at the house with these socks on um christmas socks but i wanted to show y'all my new sweater let me see my new sweater from Fashion Nova. Let's see, this is what it is giving y'all. I love the pink on the black. Um, and I'm gonna show y'all another one that I have like this. Hold on, ignore the pants, y'all. Ignore the pants. Um, crew neck, and this one has like I don't know, like a baby blue lettering, and it says Paris. Yes, y'all. That's the other one. I love these. Um, you could wear this with a pair of jeans. Uh, this would be beautiful with a pair of jeans. The um, black and pink one, you could wear with black jeans. Um, you could wear with pink pants like I have on. You know, you could wear it with a lot of things. But these are my two new sweaters, y'all. Yes, I'm back. Now we in my closet. Y'all don't want to see my closet because it's so junky. But here is another little zip up that I got from Fashion Nova. Um, this one, it has a little pull, well, does it? Yeah, it has a little pull tie at the bottom, so you can tighten it. Um, it's the black and red plaid. These are the arms, y'all. Just cute, and it's got the zipper. And then, you know, it's just got the collar. This one is a 2X. I don't know the pricing on it. I will have to look it up. But this is pretty cute. The only thing about the Fashion Novas, these are the curvy girl, but they're pretty short. So for me, I don't like to wear them this short. I usually will put like a tank top under them just to make them go a little bit longer. But yeah, that's another item. We're going to move on to the next Here's one. the next one, you guys. And this one is just a cream colored like cable knit sweater. I love the cable knit though because it's not the basic cable knit. And then the front is like a diamond shape with the cable knit in it. Look at that. And the only thing, again, is that this is short. Um, again, I would wear a tank top of it. But I'm a woman of a certain age. Most of the young girls, they will wear them just like this. <laughs> they don't mind. Um, but it's a beautiful sweater, you guys. I'm pretty, I got it on sale. Um, again, this is a 2X. And it fits wonderfully. Um, I love the sleeves because the sleeves have this little flare you see that you guys on both sleeves i believe yep that's what that looks like so i will try to pull it up on the website and show you guys um but this is this sweater and you know i have had these things for a while you guys but i had not taken the time to show you so i'm trying to do this for you now okay you guys here's the next one I actually like the pattern on this sweater. You guys see this? And you see how the you taper. Worth the money because look at the inside. This is heavy. Um, I got this again from Fashion Nova. It's a 2X. Um, and it's a sweater. I mean, 
I don't know. It's bulky. That's why I was I keep saying heavy, but it's very bulky. Um, but again, this is from Fashion Nova. I will try to put a picture of it um, from the website to show you guys how much this one costs. All right, here's the another one, you guys. This is like a mock neck um, sweater. Really good material. This is nice stretchy material. Can you guys see? And I love the color. And what I love about this, I was going to wear it for my birthday, but I didn't. <laughs> I sat around in my pajamas on my birthday because we really didn't do anything. My birthday's on Christmas. But I love the sleeve detail. It's an open ladder sleeve. Look at this, you guys. This is beautiful. Now, I will be wearing this, but with the C virus going on, I have not had anywhere to wear it. And as you can see, it hasn't been ironed. It's just been sitting in my closet. But I love this sleeve detail. I got this one from Fashion Nova also. It is a 2X. Um, and it's very, very forgiving. It's very stretchy because it does fit. Um, it's not the longest, but it does come down, you know, with the stretch, it comes down pretty long. So I really, 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 really love this, this sweater because of the arm detail. Here's the last one, you guys. Um, I picked this up from Fashion Nova too. I love a good plaid. Um, so I showed you guys the red plaid. I picked this up in the tan plaid also in the zip up. So see that zips up, zips down. It doesn't have as big as a collar as the red one. Um, but again... It's pretty short. Um, I am a woman of a certain age. I would wear either a cream or tan tank under this. Um, and the sleeves are just open. They don't really taper. And it's basic, but I love the color. I'd try to get like, you know, cream or a tan tank top, possibly some tights um, in the cream or the tan and some nice Ugg boots or imitation Ugg boots to wear with this. Um, or a cute sneak, cute sneaker, um, you know, or some Ugg slides. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what this looks like. I like it. I'll try to post the, the, um, the amounts for everything you guys. Um, but I'm loving everything I've gotten so far. Um, I did receive some items that I, from them that I thought were just too short. I wouldn't wear. So I may be trying to give them to my daughter's. Um, but I'm supposed to be receiving another shipment in, and I will be showing you guys that when it comes in. Um, I also ordered some things from Rainbow, um, and I'll be showing you that when it comes in. Talk at you guys later. Lady C loves you. Smooches. Okay, you guys, here's another little mock neck. Um, I guess it's a mock neck sweater that I picked up. Now, as you guys can see, this is very, it is very stretchy. And I mean very, very forgiving because I did try this on. It looks very, very small and it is short. That's just, I don't know, everything that I buy, I guess because I'm a certain age. When I see how short they are, I'm like, oh my God. So everything I buy seems short to me. Um, but this is a 2X. And let me come back so you guys can see it. And I checked it to make sure. Look, I checked it to make sure, and it is a 2X. <laughs> but it's a mock neck um, ribbed uh, tan top sweater. And it's very stretchy. Um, let me show you. See how it goes? It will stretch because I tried this on, you guys, and it does fit. The only thing is it's not like the longest sweater. So again, you guys, I would put a tank top under. You guys put in the comments how you you all feel about that. And if you're younger, because I think the younger folks don't have a problem with the, um, the sweaters or shirts sitting high above their hips. I'm also very hippie um, and I have a big butt. And I never have liked to really have my whole bottom half hanging, like not hanging out, but out. Um, I always kind of like to have something covering. Um, now that I'm older, I kind of do wear, I'll let it be a little short, but I don't know. Some of these are very short and um, I don't choose to show everything. <laughs> so anyway, this is this top, you guys, and I will post, uh, put the price and everything in the video. Y'all, it's Lady C in the place to be. Lady C's Lifestyles.
you know, I'm back again, back again. Me and hubby, you know, we've been doing a lot of takeout because it's just easier that way. And we've we got a lot of things going on right now. Um, I'll tell y'all something about them a little later, but we got a lot of things going on. And I got to work and hubby got to work. So we slows it down during the week and we order out. Um, we might do two days out of the week we will cook. So we'll be coming at y'all with some cooked food later. Right now, hubby went and got this. We trying this new pizza place. Now, I know it's not new to some of y'all, but we just opened a new location near us, and it's called And Pizza. Um, this is the bag it came in. Just give y'all an idea. It says Unity is the main ingredient. And Pizza, kind of cool, right? Um, cute little bag, you know, comes in and everything. Put that to the side. And this is the pizza box. You know, very new and contemporary looking, you know? It says, um, and pizza mega maze. Ooh, look at that, y'all. I don't really know what it's about because I've never looked at this before. <laughs> but it has a mega maze and it tells you to start it, start there. I guess then you figure your way through the maze. I don't know, y'all. Um, and then it says you win, I guess, when you get through it. Kind of cool, kind of cool. Um, what else does it say on here? Don't text. Don't text. Hashtag Pizza World. I don't get that. Don't text hashtag Pizza World to whatever. Okay, I don't know. Um, anyway, that's what's on the box, you guys. And then you open it up, and they're like little individualized pizzas. And they're not little. In any manner, we have not warmed this up, so it looks a little, you know, it's not going to look as normal. Now, this one, they had a pizza called Kamala, oh, the Kamala, Kam, mm, Kamalata, I think it's Kamalata Harris. And it had Kamalata olives on it, spinach, um, but you basically tell them what you want on it. And I asked Hubby, you can turn it back on, I asked Hubby to um, get me the Kamalata Harris. Well, I didn't realize you have to know what goes on it, which I didn't remember everything. But this in general, I think there were roasted red peppers, um, kam kam mm, kamalata olives or whatever. Hope I'm saying it right. I think it's got onions, cheese. And then I asked somebody to put vegan. Um, they do serve vegan sausage. They also serve regular sausage, um, pepperoni. They have a variety of things on their menu. But this is what I wanted. So this basically, you guys, is my version of the Kamalata Harris. And it's pretty big. Now, they call these individual, that, that's a big pizza. And how much are these going for, baby? Just a sink, one of these. Um, I know we had a receipt, you guys, and I used it for my Fetch app, and I probably threw it in the trash, so. Oh, I got two pizzas and two cookies. For two pizzas, he got two of these, and two cookies for $27, $27 you guys, okay? So that gives you an idea. Here, I'm going to take this one away. That's the first one. Then here is the second one. Oops. Let me get around here. The box is the same. You guys see that? And then, ooh, hubby got... What is yours, babe? Or you just did this on your own? I built it. He built this one. It looks like it's got pesto. Pesto. Um, spinach. Spinach. Um, red pepper. Roasted red pepper. Roasted red pepper. Uh, I got... Uh, Thaian sausage, sausages, pepperoni, and this is a fresh uh, mozzarella. And fresh mozzarella, okay. Mm -hmm. So this is just his, you know, he did this. He went and told Tomatoes. them everything they want on, and it's got tomato on it. Okay, look good to mm -hmm. me. We got to warm these up now, you guys. So that's the second pizza. Then, Hobby got, he said they had cookies. So this is the oatmeal raisin cookie. Now, these cookies are huge, you guys. Look at that. That's a good deal. Pretty big cookie. Oatmeal raisin. Here's another oatmeal raisin. These are big. So he got two of these. I love oatmeal raisin. Hubby knows that. Ooh, he likes them too. But I love oatmeal raisin, y'all. Um, so I'm not a big sweet cookie eater. Like my husband loves chocolate chip. I'm really not a big chocolate chip person. I just love plain old oatmeal raisin. So that's good enough for me. 
Now, all of that came from Ann Pizza, okay? Then, my husband loves me, y'all. I've been howling about trying to get these Taco Bell wings, okay? So, the other day, my husband rode all around trying to get Taco Bell wings. He went to like two Taco Bells. He said the lines were long. And when they were waiting in line, they came across on the speaker and said they didn't have any more wings. So, two places we couldn't get them. We thought we were just out of luck, okay? Because I think the last day to get these is like January 12th, which is like two days from now. So, we were like, oh, God, you know, all the Taco Bells are not going to have them. He went to a Taco Bell today, you guys, and they had them. He and I took one wing out of the other box because he got two boxes. They come in a box of five like this. We tasted these. Oh, my God, you guys. These are, I, I don't know. Some people were saying they were nasty. I don't know where they were getting that from. Maybe their Taco Bell didn't make them right. These are bomb. So tender and juicy. And it's got like this seasoning on it. I don't know what the seasoning is, but it's got like a little bit of a seasoning on it. Really good and crunchy. Oh, like the batter is just right. I mean, to get wings from a taco joint, a little scary, you guys, but it was good, okay? So we got wings too. And then I had said, I, well, I'll be, you know, we got to have a salad with our pizza. He picked up um, a salad from Salad Works. We have, there's a Salad Works that's right next to the pizza place. So he just dropped in there, and this was Salad Works. And um, picked up a salad. Now, Salad Works, they have a variety. If you've ever been to Salad Works, I mean, they have, you know, this is create your own. But then they have various ones, like, you know, this tells you the bases, the premiums, super and the toppings. You can make any kind of salad, okay? So um, that's where he had gotten our salad from. And there is the salad, you guys. Oh my God, that looks so good. What kind of dressing did you get back then? Like a uh, vinaigrette? Uh, vinaigrette, uh, Italian okay. vinaigrette. This is like an Italian vinaigrette, you guys. And then we got everything else going on. And then they give you, then they give you bread to go with it. Oh my God. So this is what we're eating on tonight. This is what we're eating on. We got a lot. But usually we have, we get enough that we have leftovers. Um, one of us, you know, will usually I'll break it up. And then whatever's left over, we'll take to work for lunch the next day. So this is what we're eating on after we warm it up and make our plates. Um, I will show you guys what we got going on. Um, but for right now, that's what we got going on. Hey, y'all, I'm back. Okay, so we have made our salads. Ooh, salad works in the house with that vinaigrette. And then here is our pizza. We warmed it up in the air fryer. And then there are those Taco Bell wings, y'all. Oh, I'm telling you right now, they're good because we've already been into them. So, I hope you guys are having a good night. We are about to devour this food. Then we will have our oatmeal raisin cookies for dessert. Thanks to Ann Pizza, Salad Works, and Taco Bell. Sometimes you got to go to three different places to get what you want. Love y'all so much. Thanks for watching. Lady C has got to go. Smooching.